one more finger, huh? Is it this way or is it this way? All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a regular scheduled meeting of the uh, Board of Selectmen in the town of Sunderland. We have, it's April 8th, 2019. We will call to order at uh, 6.37, if David's clock is right. Uh, first order of business is we have a, uh, we'll open up to public comment. Um, yes, sir. Oh, well, I'm here representing the Energy Committee to talk about the survey. survey. Mm. So it's not exactly public comment. Maybe it raises uh, public comment. Well, we get it under old business. Sure. We do get yeah. to talk it. about it. Yeah, let's sure. do it. Uh, so we presented, I think Baron came and presented the survey. Yes, sir. And I think you wanted mm. some time to think it over. Mm -hmm. right? And I don't know if you've had time to consider it. And we were going to talk about that tonight. Okay. Scott, you want to talk about that now? Yeah, the only thing that I was asking on the survey, and it's not in the paperwork that's right in front of me, uh, was <coughs> an added was an added question, and it had to do with about long... The long stability? Stability. That was the only thing that was mm -hmm. jumped out to me. Yep. I think there... Uh, my feeling is that in our public hearings that there was the kind of cheapest, greenest, and then, you know... Mm -hmm what else yeah. and I think the what else could be stability whether it's over the course of the contract or um, over the course of a individual participants because again a participant can can call out at any time right so that was the only part that I would right. add Mr. Chair yeah. and it was I think it was it would be a fifth question <clears throat> if I recall the survey correctly we have three now three. So uh, be a the cheapest the greenest yep. or the cheapest and the greenest is still cheaper yeah right and that, so the stability one, I think, is mostly focused on the towns themselves. If they were going to opt in to, or opt, you know, if they were going to stay, join that instead of whatever, whatever plan they were in currently, that's that's sort of I think the thinking around the stability aspect because the individuals have a lot of flexibility to get in and out. Uh, well, I would, the stability I, is for the for the. Once you're in the contract, that's you have that's your rate. So you have stability. It's true for individuals also. Right. I would I would say that in the reason I raised the point was uh, three years ago where there was a significant jump mid year. You know those kind and that was not that was not in the form of delivery. It was in the form of generation. Like so, how can we help? Uh, constituents mm -hmm. in removing that kind of noise mm -hmm. in a year-to-year -year contract so right. that's the right. only reason I raised the point yeah so I think these contracts can be for six months or a year okay you were at the meeting maybe you remember David uh, um, but I think that's your the, the kind of choices that are there and the idea would be to get a longer contract for right. For the stability correct aspect they're looking like right. one or three years i thought right, right? So, well, the, the flip know. side of that is that if it, it's a downside yeah, yeah exactly. i totally get it right if the price goes down yeah. you can't jump into that you're you're stuck right. with where you are but at least you have stability right. you and your right. plans you know you you if you've made it work in your budget then it will work you know. so in, in this aggregation agreement we don't have the opportunity that um we at my house uh, home uh, heat with home oil, mm -hmm. and so you see in the last couple of years downside contracts, yeah. right? I think in in the case of this uh, electricity aggregation, I use that model, saying okay, so there, if there's a true upside, let's find what that cap is, and you know if if it drops dramatically, which is a little less likely with electricity, mm -hmm. uh, how do we find that? That platform that we can offer. And that's the, again the only reason I put that on there. Yeah. You know, when when people look at the survey and they say cheap or green, or the blend thereof. Yeah. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of, a lot that is um, choice driven, right? So in the from from a survey's perspective, I just kind of want it to be, sure. you know. No, I think that'd be interesting. Yeah. Is I mean, it it doesn't help us if we uh, we don't get to like mix off three of the options agreed right All I right. think we just ask a stability question yep. and then and then we'll, we'll, you'll have to decide right. how, how to resolve that if there's 
from some kind of conflict. It's a good way to put it, actually. The program will help in what that resolution is. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. right. Good point. Well, I, I would say that <clears throat> the, uh, um, was it consol um, consolidated? Mm -hmm. When they come in, they're going to they're going to give us different plans. Right. right. But we're talking about the survey now. Right. And it's, uh, but but the survey at, at that point, so what the survey survey would help them is know what kind of plans to put together. Exactly. Right. Yeah, it's a good way to so, put so, it. So so stability, greenness, um, affordability, those are all important questions. Right. And 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 again, and one one thing that's that has always been the most concern of mine is that people have to remember this is an opt out program. Right. So, if if you know right now, it's really an opt out program as it it's in existing in existence right now. You have to opt out of EverSource's plan to go to. Cons uh, Constellation or Con Ed right. or right. one of the other providers. So right. you have to opt out. Of, if you don't make a choice, you get assigned EverSource. Exactly. That's right. why they call it the old default plan. Yeah. Right. They're the default. Yep. So, so now what we do, we have an option, we have an opportunity to try to develop a plan. And and I I brought in and I tried to find it. I and I have it someplace. But a, a thing that was presented in Gloucester, Gloucester just was doing this last year about this time, mm -hmm. and they had three options. You know, Gloucester had three options. They had a green. They, you know, they had a cheap. And their cheap was inexpensive. Was really inexpensive. Mm -hmm. Really inexpensive. Um, but then they had a blended. So, yeah. so they had three options for you to choose from. So, right. They showed us one from New Salem. The New Salem decided to go on on its own and not mm -hmm. not be part of the. A multi town uh, group. Because yeah. the metropolis of New Salem probably could do really well by <laughs> yes, themselves. The, huh? It's a lot of electricity <laughs> behind the buying power of 600 counts <laughs> right. versus 70,000. Yeah, uh, 70, 70, exactly. It's okay. Uh, yeah, and they had those three choices. Uh, and I, I, you can pick one of these suppliers, and they have all these choices the greenest, the cheapest, the greenest, cheapest, and, uh, it, it, and it, different they do. lengths of time. But we have, but we have to be careful because, because um, those options will be available to our our users of electricity in town, but there will still be one that you will opt that will be opt in to. So if you have a cho if 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 you don't respond, yep. they're going to put you right. in so in, right. so in that's that the one, one that you'll need to pick that. Right. So is it the, is it the, the most people, whatever your criteria is going to be. <laughs> yeah, so that's why we have to be careful what we right. do. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Did you have any other questions that you yeah, want? One other question, and Shoot. maybe David can speak to this also. They, they, when they were talking with us, they presented this notion that every town, some towns, if they have a high demand or their, their demand profile of a certain type, they actually could go on their own and get a lower rate than they would if they joined in with the whole multi-town group. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. And so some towns may decide to do that, and they were wondering if towns even, if, if you wanted, they would tell each town what their individual uh, rate sort of or their profile would be, <laughs> right. uh, and whether you could get the lowest, the lower rate, or you would have to kind of figure that out because you could see what it was related to other towns. And so are you suggesting the utilities are or the buying structure through the aggregation is has the opportunity to do demand profiling because the aggregators didn't describe that. No. Demand profiling is is yeah. is a delicate dance. Yeah, and they do these funny calculations. They have some formulas to figure out like what the profile and they're not always right. They just have to they yeah. estimate things. So right? sometimes they're by windows, mm -hmm. windows of time. Yeah. And that preserves capacity in the grid for mm -hmm. other applications. Right. Usually, it's a, an association with some kind of industry that's adjacent you or the utility serves. Yeah, I don't remember anything from a no, presentation either. about demand profiling. It's a very, it's really interesting, here. but <coughs> but the way they were presenting it was, well, you ha you you could just decide that 
you want to be in a large group because it's good for all the towns. Mm -hmm. The bigger the group is, the better all the towns do as, a, as in common. But some individual towns might say, well, I know we're going to be lower, so we, we, we wouldn't join the, the group, or I'll wait until I see, and then I'll join. But they'll do their but own. But he just was saying that that could happen, it could be that the group will kind of fall apart, and he's seen this happen, because huh. it's the individual town, the, the ones that had the lower, could get a lower rate will go for that. They'll feel that's sort of a fiduciary responsibility to give their people the lowest price. And the other way to look at it, though, is that in the multi-town organizing that we're trying to do, it's better to stay in these in these aggregations uh, just because overall and over the long life of all these communities, it's it's a you know a better approach to do things in common. And I, th and I think you get a little more flexibility with the larger groups with the green options and things like that too. Mm -hmm. But it's, a, it's a question we'll actually send. I actually will send to Sherry to extend to the aggregator because now I have a question as well. But mm -hmm. thanks, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. So it was just another thing that they wanted us to kind of think about. Yeah. And to bring back, there's a meeting this week. It's Thursday. This Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. I won't and be I, there. You can't go there. I think you guys I think are. Aaron's all, going. We have I'll be going with Aaron. Okay. Right. And yeah. they may be asking that question. Okay. Uh, okay. If there's, there's anything you'd like me to say about it. Uh, mm. I'll bring that, but you know, we it mm. this is a, still a process, it's going to be months before this thing bids or even put out. I think, yeah, yeah. Uh, there, the, the request for this aggregation to be approved is still sitting at the DPU, and Correct. so on. it's yeah. going to take a while. Yeah, lying down is a better. <laughs> no, it's more descriptive because, because it's not, I mean, it's been there for it's been. <laughs> Yeah. It's been there for a while, so. Okay. So it's something that let's keep it in mind, uh, and they, they're, I don't know exactly how it's going to impact what they do, but they did, they were mostly, I think, warning us or letting us, putting us on notice or to, under, to be thinking about the possibility that it may not look like it looks now as we get go down the road. Okay. Yeah, because see, you know, back to the, right. There, I mean, there's a 12 step. There's a 12 step process, and yeah. I, I mean, we're getting approval we'll for, the, for the for the the uh, yeah. What we're the applications actually in yeah. Right we're, we're I mean, we're, we're actually like on step six, mm -hmm. um, and then then there's a public hearing on the plan by the department. Does yeah, I think it, that it, happened. It, I'm not sure. Uh, I think there was. Yeah, that was yeah. in Boston, right? I think. Yeah. And it was just I like they went I in and they, they, were, they had put in like six or seven of these and they just walked back out of the room again. It, it, there there was, was nobody a, at the meeting. It did was you say it was a 12-step plan? I wonder if they picked those numbers on purpose. 12-step <laughs> plan. There you go. Your, your energy in a 12-step plan. I like it, actually. Yeah, I, I, have, I have all the colonial power. I have all the aggravation stuff right here. It's amazing how much stuff we uh, uh, collect. Yeah, definitely. Okay. okay. Anything else? Great. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, thank thanks. you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, going back to um, this whole aggregation right here. So is that a formal? Are you going to take a formal vote to, or just? Uh, it's do okay. Do they need a vote? Or I think or. I don't know that they I think they just wanted to make from, from, from the survey's perspective, I would if, if they would require a vote, I'd like to move to include the question about yeah. that a move to include a question <clears throat> on the survey that is price stability a priority for you. Sure. Yep. Second. Yeah, I think that's fine. Great. Motion. Second. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Sherry, let's uh, include that and let's get the question out there for the survey, okay? So that uh, motion is to include a question on the survey. Is price stability a priority for mm -hmm. you? Okay. Okay. All right. Next thing is um, minutes of the... Uh, 
April 1st, uh, 2019 meeting. Uh, motion on the minutes. Second. Okay, motion made and seconded on the minutes from 4119. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Tree zero. Sherry, we got those a clue. Uh, review annual town meeting warrant articles. All right, Sherry, so this is complete. Is there any of them that we need to add to the warrant? Uh, any. The only, there was an update to the um, article to change the Board of Selectmen to Select Board that was submitted by Council, um, and that is Article 18, so that one has the refined language. <laughs> okay, so that's the only one that we have, we, did, we didn't already include this already previously? We didn't move to include I thought because we it was a citizen's petition. There's been no recommendation on it. No, that was not a citizen's petition. The one for the changing select board, select men to select board. Oh, that's true. Us. That was a uh, request. Okay. Sorry. So I had I council had, draft yeah. the language. Got it. Mm -hmm. um, do you want a motion to include? We should. That way we can yeah. have. Then we can have a. Uh, then we can have a discussion when we get to it. Yeah, motion to include. Second. Okay. Motion made and seconded to include presently numbered Article 18. To authorize the Board of Selectmen to petition the General Court for special legislation to formalize a name change to, from Board of Selectmen to Select Board. Okay. It's kind of amazing. Don't you think that we have legislation? That we need to do that something wouldn't that be a home rule thing it would seem to me is oh, easy as think, it, 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 it's an administrative change but it's okay you mean okay. to tell me our legislators have nothing more important to do <laughs> well then, well, then they're going to well, probably make then they're going to probably make us go and testify maybe. at a joint committee because yeah. we want to save time. <laughs> that's right that's right sorry yeah. Good point. No, you raise a great point. Well, they, yeah, they may welcome this as respite from other things on their agenda. Like, oh, let's oh take up that. My let's God. debate that Sunderland name oh change. <laughs> Here it goes. Anyways, I guess we have to also in that citizens petition to the general. I'm sorry, our petition to the general court. We have to find the sponsor. Right. We have, yeah, we can get we we have we, we can, hometown sponsor. Right. It's yeah, going to yeah, go to both. It's a it's a big yeah. process. Yeah. All right. We, Natalie can put some <clears throat> legislation together Natalie for that. And, Natalie and Joe both. Be yeah, both. oh, you got to be joint yeah, sponsor. Yeah, got to be both. Yeah. Okay. So okay. we have motion made, seconded to include article, presently numbered Article 18. Any further discussion besides a, why we make things so complicated? <laughs> Just change the letterhead. Yeah. Aye. 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 Sorry, <laughs> three to zero. <laughs> Sherry, three to zero. Okay. We taken. Actually, we probably should talk to the uh, the governor and lieutenant governor about you know how they went around a few years ago about changing stupid arcane laws. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. They, they actually had a, they actually had a really good run yeah. of that in their first yes, they two did. years. The, yes, they did. Here, okay, this is another one. Yep. All right, so let's go. Let's go through the articles. Um. Article one. I thought we already voted on it. You did. We submitted. On March twenty eighth, you voted to include and recommend. Okay. Article two, we we said we'd rec we'd uh, yep. uh, include, mm -hmm. but we don't make a recommendation on it because it's a monetary thing like that. That's right. It's elected monetary. Correct. Article three, we budget. it's a budget. Um, Same. And we don't have a budget yet to right, no, include and vote on. We're getting there. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. Article four, we free cash to stabilization. We don't have a number on that. Article five, but we included that. Mm -hmm. Article five, we have included. Right. We're holding off on that. Article six, mm -hmm. uh, capital budget. We that hasn't been presented yet, right? That is. Uh, Move to include the capital planning committee meetings tomorrow night for what I think is going to be our last meeting. So we should have a budget for our next selectmen's meeting. Did we already include that? We did. We've moved yes. to include. Yeah. Yes. All right. Article seven. 
Um, we included, did we vote on this one? Uh, that's the Commonwealth you voted to include and recommend. That number is $528.50, and that would be used for signs for our complete streets projects. 528.50? Okay. At the same time, we're also, Mr. Chair, if I could, you're, you're we're also adopting a statute. Yep. So this this infrastructure trust fund mm -hmm. could be used in a future year. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. Yeah, we get else. that little bit of money right. every year. It's right. Yeah. You want to keep going, Sherry? Article eight. Article eight. You did uh, vote to include and recommend. Yep. That's the CTA CPC, open yeah. space. Um, 25,541 from CPA Open Space Reserve and 54,519 from the undesignated budgeted reserve. And we recommended that, right? You did. And this is a specific purchase. It correct? is. Yes. It's the piece up in North Sound. Yeah. Yep. Article 9. Uh, that's the regular. We did regular. both on that. Yeah, right that's yeah. The, the regular CPA, CPA budget. One. Yeah. 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 Okay, so. Basically, the, the state tells us we have to have certain percentages of the CPA money that has to be designated for certain areas. And Jennifer with uh, um, Brian go start this about four months ago and they come, finally end up with numbers. Okay. okay. Article 10. Revolving. Revolving. Yep. Yep. For the uh, wiring inspector, plumbing inspector, board of health, uh, you voted Media to room. include and recommend. And we did we re we were already recommended mm -hmm. this yep. three zero. Article eleven. Include but no value for recommendation yet. Right. We didn't have a we don't have enough. I'll work with Brian and George on that. Okay. Hopefully we're done with the snow budget for the year. So yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to put all these things <laughs> away <Please>. next week. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Article twelve. The teacher retirement. Yeah, uh, that number is thirteen thousand five forty-two for a teacher payout for a retirement. Thirteen thousand what? Five forty-two. Thirteen five forty-two, I believe. Sure, yeah. Motion. Uh, we, we already included, included it, right? Did that. Yep. Yep. Recommend. The recommendation is going to be in the form of the motion, and the motion will be in this <clears> case here from free cash because yep. it's one-time expense. Okay. So I have a uh, motion um, to move, recommend. Move to recommend. Second. And I will uh, call any other buddy without hearing any other conversation. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Three zero on that, Sherry. Article 13, uh, transfer. Uh, that's the amend, the uh, bylaw to insert hit or his, his slash her, or designee. her designee. That's in the event that the police chief isn't available to um, issue the permit. It would allow him to appoint another yep. uh, representative, probably it. Sergeant Lyons. Yep. Move to recommend. Yep. Second. A motion made and seconded to recommend. Presently number 13. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Article 14. Planning board is a uh, planning board. Do we do both on this because it was planning board? Hmm? I thought we did both on this we, because we're, it was yeah. the planning board. You did motion to include. We had voted to include it, right? Right. Yeah. And we can if you want to vote on this. You don't, we're not, we don't have to. Um, let the planning board speak to this? Yeah, the, again, the, they are, they have to speak by state MGO. Yeah, but again, it's it's, it's deep in the weeds with respect to yeah. elements across the different areas of yeah. the uh, zones in the bylaw. The the last I saw, Over the, the planning yeah. board had talked to town council on a on some they had some legal questions to answer. So right, right. I haven't seen the response. Okay. Okay, um, Article 16. So that's already included. That so we don't. I don't think we. I don't think we'll make a recommendation on that yeah. one, Sherry. So you can strike the recommend slot. So that that's 14, Mr. Chair. 15 is mm -hmm. another, and that was the one that was sent out to town council around a specific zoning, a specific lot. 
Yes. And we have that recommendation from council. I don't see a recommendation here from the planning board. Have they taken this up? This is a citizen's petition. Ah. Is that, yeah. We had one like this num a number of years back, too. It's a barn roll, Emmerich Road. So which one are you on now? I'm on 15. Yeah. Yeah, that one, that one just the rezoning, the, the rezoning. One of the pieces of property is split zoned right now at um, Correct. VR and commercial. Right, right, right at Amherst Road, uh, 116. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Article 16. This one, yeah, you want to summarize that? Yeah, <laughs> if I could. So there are elements. This is regarding the, adop the adopted bylaw for the Capital Improvement Cl Planning Committee. And there was, after two full years of going through the process of capital planning, there were elements of both the composition of the committee mm. uh, being a little too complex. And then the second was on the thresholds of what a request made required to be capital and its longevity. So there was some strike and some insert specifically uh, on the uh, length of the life, the $10,000 versus the $5,000. We thought $5,000 was a little too low. Uh, the reporting function, and it is it, to the statute required publishing as part of the warrant can, as opposed can, to simply notifying at town meeting. Mm -hmm. So in in here, yep. we're, we're putting something going to be new into the... Into the existing bylaw. Okay. The words that are italicized will be Correct. new. Correct. So we, we're using the word board of selectmen. Yeah, that hasn't changed. Shouldn't we just say select board? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Yeah, at least that. we can change it yeah. there. Huh? At least we can change it there. Yeah. But I think and it's already... Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to say, I mean... If it, if, if, it doesn't change this time, if it doesn't change this time, it may change sometime sure. in the future. So right, right. we should yeah. right. move it forward. Yeah, I completely agree. With respect to the, the meat of the matter here, um, the Capital Improvement Committee was looking for a little bit of relief on the reporting function, making sure that it still goes to the town residents in the form of the town meeting, not yep. necessarily as part of the board of selectmen or as part of the annual town meeting warrant. And then the last piece was about the thresholds, raising the thresholds so that it was more aligned with capital as opposed to uh, individual purchases. We ran into some issues with what clearly was capital, had a long life cycle, but had a low purchase value. So is it an expense or is it capital? So in yeah. this case here, the capital was 5,000, they're raising it to 10, or a bundle that equals 10. And yeah. it, that's, that's inside here as well. But Scott, isn't mm -hmm. a capital, not to be yeah. difficult, Sure. But doesn't if it looks like a duck, it quacks like a duck. Yeah, it isn't a duck. duck. So yeah. don't we so know? Don't we know capital? Do we? And we, well, we, I, do, I, and when I think, we de I think define it. If you put a number of ten thousand dollars or five thousand mm -hmm. dollars on it, mm -hmm. well, in in five years, that that I, is no longer I, any good. Totally agree. So here here was an example. So quack. Yeah. So here was here was an example. I know of that. capital when I see it. Right. Right. <laughs> so so here, here's here's an example actually. In, in right. we're going to vote tomorrow. Yeah. Actually, we voted last meeting about repointing uh, brick on a two and a half million dollar building. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So is it maintenance or is it capital? Maintenance. Well, it's $3,000 once every 10 years. Maintenance. Okay. Technically, it's maintenance. I but, hear you. But, huh? uh, re, but repointing. What you say? Yeah, it is maintenance. It's like. So, so same, same building, right? Yeah. Same building. Uh, compressor with a life cycle of 10 years cost $3,000. Maintenance. Okay. So that's, well, it is a maintenance. That's, yeah. that's the challenge the capital yeah, group know, has see. been boxed into. Yep. It's like, okay, so what really makes kind of helping us work? And this, this, these changes will allow the flexibility to allow the, um, the quack discussion to come up <laughs> as to what, what uh, makes sense. Okay. I, I mean, but, but I, I would say pointing bricks is now. 
replacing the front stairs on this building. Yeah. Which that's different. Uh, yeah. Now, to me, that's sure. that the sure. cap the sure. that that's a capital, and it should be done mm-hmm. because I don't think the stairs are safe. But mm-hmm. I don't think. Yeah, because in theory, Mike. you'd maintain the stairs and you wouldn't have to replace them. Correct. As long Correct. as they're properly maintained. Right. Correct. And so, in, in I'll use I use those two examples. The change that was submitted is being submitted to town meeting yeah. was ten thousand dollars a useful life cycle of under five years, but not both. It was prior to this change, both, which yeah. boxed the capital planning committee in. Yep, I get that. Like okay. okay, so it could be more than five years in life, which is capital. Right, it could be more than ten thousand dollars in an individual component or element. That's clearly capital. The original bylaw said it had to be both. And so we yeah. use I used uh, in our capital budget last year. It was quite clear. And I used the library building. There were two pieces of uh, building envelope. There was one piece of HVAC. They both they combined added up to ten thousand dollars, and it got over the threshold, and it passed the straight face test. Yeah. In this case here, you could look at those individual requests and go, yep, got it. That makes sense. Mm. This doesn't make sense. Recommend, don't recommend. Yep. So we're trying to make the, the looks like capital, smells like capital, walks like capital, look like capital. That's what this change is about. And then composition has to do with the original being a member of the planning board, a member of the board of assessors, a member of the trustees, three at large members, a member of the board of selectmen. It's like, stop. Let's just have a committee that's really interested in all of that. And if that composition makes sense, those, those people can certainly a- apply. Right. We're having a hard time getting quorums based on the configuration requirements. Yep. And makes sense. You, know, oh, that makes you sense. really box right. yourself in there. Exactly. You're just, so this is a way of taking this, this would be a third full year, the third full year of the adopted bylaw, pulling it apart and saying, you still have the same goals. Yeah. Those don't change. What have we found that are obstacles? Let's fix that part. That's what these changes are about. Yeah, and I think the composition thing was just a tradition. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, financial, that's how we always did it. It was living living two full, oh, now three full cycles with cut and paste from the mass general law. Yeah. That wasn't quite worth it. Right. It's not that smart. Yep. Um, Did we. Put that on already, or it's on. It's on. It's okay, on. so yeah. we, we need um, a recommendation. Vote. Motion yeah. to recommend. Uh, motion to recommend. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Zero. As long as it quacks. We don't want it to always quack. We want it to always quack. Well, you should be. You should be able to find it. What if it's a platypus? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, Article Seventeen, Sherry. Uh, Article. Petition. That's a citizen's petition. What? Oh, okay. so we included that, right? Have, have you sat down with the moderator to, to review his uh, preference for the order. the order of these articles? Uh, no, he has been in, though. Um, when you get a chance, can you ask okay. him to see if he wants a Article 18? Oh, that's our name change. Okay. The, correct. If that's already on, do you want to recommend? Uh, move to recommend. Second. This is for the so rebranding re- campaign. It's rebranding. Huh? Exactly. Rebranding. Exactly. It's for rebranding. Yeah, we're we're rebranding. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, you could call it that. Yep. Rebranding. We have motion made and seconded to rebrand, change the name of the board. Or All modernization. Those. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Three zero. Nineteen. Oh, this is the uh, this is for North North, North Main. Main Street, mm-hmm. and and these are looking for to acquire by purchase, gift, or eminent domain the fee to and or permanent and or temporary easements for public way purposes, including without limitation for construction, alteration, installation. Basically, what this allows us to do is to work on the project, including yeah. fix the sidewalks, redo the sidewalks, etc., make them whole. Driveway um, connections between in the public way, right. you know, right. all of that. Right. Yeah. So we're not going to take anybody's land. But we yeah. are, 
as far as we know, there's no land taken or anything. It's still early in the project too, yeah. so they, you know, they couldn't give me a number. But, the, but this allow uh, this allows us to, ha and if there's a specific, if there's a specific one, we'd have to come back for authorization mm -hmm. of monies and stuff like right, that. Right for funding. So it, it's a, it's important, Sherry. You said there's <coughs> there no values associated with these yet, but all of the drawings and public hearings, the work that's being proposed for reconstructing of North Main Street is in the public way. Yeah, right. It's important to bear that in mind. It's and part it's of the process. Part of the process. We have to do this again because people have either axial or linear access to the road and there will be construction and that is important to, for all the abutters on North Main Street during the process. You got to yep. clear the slate so the project can happen and then you go yep. right back in. Um, okay. Did we uh, vote on this yet or we need to vote on this? this one, we voted to include, yes. Move to recommend. Second. A motion made and seconded to recommend the uh, easements. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Um, the rest, the rest are just consent articles. The 20 through 25 are consent articles. We voted to include and recommend those. So we're leaving tonight with uh, money articles in the motions. All of the articles that are presented are include and recommend. Correct. Okay. And so the motions will include the, 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 the dollar, dollar values. Correct. Okay. All right. Anything else on that? When is the warrant closed? Well, the warrant's already the warrant's closed. closed. When is it supposed uh, to be posted? It has to be posted by the 18th. Seven days yeah. before for a meeting. Okay. So the meeting to review the numbers and the motions is scheduled for the 22nd. Mm -hmm. okay. Monday's a holiday, the 15th. You want to do it on Tuesday? Oh, 16th? Patriot's Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to do it on Tuesday. Tuesday the 16th? Yeah, that's so what we usually yeah. We should have, we should be winnowing into those number values. We should okay. make sure that we have those long before the 22nd, long okay. before the week before. We always have to meet on the Tuesday that week. Right. Yeah. Just because these holidays get in the There's a lot too. of stuff going on. And it's Patriot's Day, too. Right? Patriot's Day? Yep. started as Bunker Hill and Day, Marathon. which started as what day? Evacuation Day? Evacuation Day. We had a whole conversation it. about that the other in context. Day. It's like, why do they call it that? Well, well let me that, tell you. Let me <laughs> tell you a story. Okay. Select board up, but updates, David. Um, I have a personnel committee meeting tomorrow, so we'll be hammering through the um, recommendation from UMass. We have a lot of questions still on that, so that's why we don't have an official um, recommendation yet from the personnel committee. And our, our sentiment is we we went we definitely want to deal with the colas, but um, if it takes a little more time, we'd rather do that and get it done right and have a nice process that we're all happy with in place. Because um, it's all happy. Well, <laughs> most happy. <laughs> um, it's like the, the rules of parenting: fed, uh, warm, dry. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're trying to, and it's one of these things too that it, it's not just an exercise now, but we want to try to get a process in place going forward. So that, and I, I did have a conversation with the cog because it will, you know, I. Uh, Bent Linda's ear one night, and I said, "You know, we're all going through these things periodically, and it's a royal pain in the you know where to get a hold of the data. And we all need the you know, even if we're just comping out and saying, hey, Town A, what's your job description or whatever.' And I said, it'd be wonderful if you guys kept like a central database, so we can just give you guys the stuff, you track it, and then we just ping you when we need the information, rather than calling up 15 towns to ask. Hmm. Now." You know, you have to get it set up. So they're, they're going to look into, because um, they asked me, well, what, 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 did, what would you envision being in the database? You know, so I went through some stuff with her. Because, like, I would imagine you have you know, all your data points and then <coughs> a copy of the latest job description on file. Job description. You know what I mean? So you've yeah, got that. Absolutely. David. Um, so assuming all that goes forward, it'd be incumbent on every town that when you update a job description, you want to yeah. file it with them. But Smart. it would help, I think, going forward. Yeah, to make it a lot easier, you know, because then 
you're just going out periodically getting updates to your compound list. I mean, you obviously want to reevaluate your compounds periodically, but you know, so hopefully something will come yeah. out of that. That would help a lot. <laughs> so, and then we're trying to schedule. I got to get get a hold of George and see because um, we'd like to have him as our special guest speaker at our next ditch committee meeting because nice. we want to we want to talk culverts. So. So it's, it's not a lynching now, it's just straight, well, just, no. oh, okay. It's just culvert talk, you know, because we want to, like, get down and, like, find out what we've got and make sure we have them all mapped. If, and, you know, if we don't, let's, like, map them. And, and you know, maybe I can help them create, like, a, you know, worksheet we can probably do up that's got all the info, you yeah, know. GIS should be pretty straightforward. Uh, just, 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 we, like, plug it in. Because don't we have handheld GPS units now? Right, so we can go around, mark them, mm -hmm. get that as... If it's not already, make sure it's a layer on the GIS. I'm sure George has a smartphone. Yes. So. Right? Yeah, I know, right? Flag, 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 and go. Done. Yep, because all the, you just hit the little eye next to your picture, and if you haven't shut off geotagging, it's there. Ready to go. Good point. So. Capital planning is tomorrow. We expect to come out with recommendations. Part of the budget requests have been approved at a prior meeting. And the expectation is we can get through with some questions that were asked from the last meeting uh, through tomorrow. Also, frontier negotiations uh, last week. There's all done, there, right? Uh, there seemed to be a breakthrough. Yeah. There's a breakthrough. We'll let's see. Okay. And that said, it was centered around uh, money issues. So. Surprise. Surprise. Anyway, that said, uh, the expectation is our our final meeting will be responses from uh, both uh, the administration, the municipal rep, as well as uh, the, and the association. That reminds me, I have one update too. I was supposed to have a negotiation meeting Wednesday. Um, won't be until early May now, I think, because really? the attorney is- On the Unit 38? Yes. Did on they flip attorneys again? No, uh, he is now the um, father of twins. Oh, hey, congratulations. So he's on paternity leave. Yeah, Fine. That's so. a great way to, to stop negotiations. <laughs> it is. He got plenty of negotiating in his future. Uh, yes. And, uh, but also, too, um, the union representative um, said they're reevaluating some of their requests. Correct. So. Very good. Similar to the Frontier one. Um, is that it, Scotty? That's it. Sherry, did you get the... Um Salary thing from the town from the senior center. Yes, yes, okay. they had another increase. Is that what we were 2%. figuring on? Anyways, a two percent increase. Um, they're on De in Deerfield's. Right, but they're on their salary. But their assessment yeah. to us would increase accordingly. Yeah, we have yeah, to they, make sure that our budget's. In they have steps in a cola, so Got it. the cola was just approved. The step was in the previous budget. Okay, so we'll see a little bit of migration inside of our. It did go up slightly. Yep. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Um, alrighty. Um, town administrator updates. Uh, I have a couple for you. Uh, on Thursday, FERCOG will be here. They're going to start doing the site visits for the ADA um, transition plan uh, for that project. So this is the school street. No, this is for the um, the town has to put together a ADA. Oh self evaluation and a transition plan then once we have that plan together uh, we can uh, apply for grant funds to implement the recommendations um, that come out of the plan so they'll be looking at buildings programs um, our streets infrastructure all of those things um, so we'll and this is just is this for just town owned buildings yes yep. I need to talk to you about that okay mm -hmm. okay I have something from way back. Okay. That may have gotten lost. Oh, okay. Um, and I also have a recommendation for the School Street ADA Improvement and um, Infrastructure Design Project to Berkshire Design, um, who will be uh, doing the design, conceptual design recommendations for that project. Uh, their amount um, is $23,953, and the funding for that project is through the Small Town Housing Choice Grant of $71,438. Okay. 
Uh, we've been working on the manhole Bush portion of that project. The survey's complete. Uh, they did the cameraing Bush, to look at the line, and that all looked good. So we're moving forward with that project as well. Oh, that's good. All right, so they're just going to put they're just going to put the uh, the manhole and bring the line, just drop it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. And well, that's one part, but yeah. Yeah, that's a, put a clean out in too, or something. A what? Was there a clean out they were putting in? Well, they'll be able to do it. They'll the be able to do did. that with the manhole. They'll be able to uh, drop a jetter in and, and go up jetter. the line and pull it back. That's yep. yeah. You always want to pull back, and they weren't able to pull back because yep. we can't push in front. You know, I heard that. You know way too much about that stuff. <laughs> so if the board is so inclined, a motion to award the um, contract for the School Street and ADA Improvements Infrastructure Project to Berkshire Design Group. Um, that's a fixed fee of $23,953. Um, I, I noticed something the other day about the uh, Sunderland Fire Station. Their air thing was in the... The fan mm. was being bid out? It was. Okay, yeah. so do we have the money for that yet? Um, no, that's a capital request is pending. We had an estimate of $81,000, and they were trying to um, nail down a figure a little bit better in, in the event that the project was funded for capital. Okay. But there's no recommendation yet for that, correct, Scott? Correct. Okay. Can, um, can can you um, can you email out what the uh, the capital fund is hmm. for next year? What what the, what the what's, what's available on the for appropriation? What's on the list? So oh, okay. Look at that. Yep. Yeah, get that out for five years. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Um, so I'm just looking for a motion for the ADA improvements for the bid award. So motion. motion. Second. <laughs> so let's go rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> All right, so so we have a motion for the uh, to uh, go ahead with the ADA. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Three zeros here. And one more. Um, for IT improvements, that um, project is through a grant that we were awarded um, through the state community contract compact IT program and the grant amount is 31,000 and the recommendation is for award to Northeast IT um, and the um, estimated amount is about 19,000 um, some of that is a la carte and will be hardware and software and hours and so it's an estimated um, so it would be not to exceed the grant amount of 31,000, but it looks like it's probably going to be in the vicinity of 15 to 19. So, so Sherry, can, can we also look at um, trying to do away with all this paper that we have? We have talked <laughs> about that. Yeah. Yep. Um, but I, I, so I, I don't know what it would cost, but I, I, I think... iPads, is that what you're looking for? What's that? Screens, what we could even, because uh, I actually priced out a couple of dongles that we have in our office, because our conference rooms have TVs in mm -hmm. each of the one. Yeah. We did have hardwire connections in, so you either go with an HDMI, or, yeah. but we also put in wireless so that... And then we have a small Apple TV on it, too, so that you can either put a Mac or a PC wirelessly. So you can sit, or I can sit right here, shoot it up to the monitor. Makes sense. So we just need to get, like, a, a dongle. You can help me. Put that yeah, I can help you. We need, like, a dongle, uh, an Apple TV, um, and then a monitor. Well, and then we can, and then it would, I would assume, feed back into our lovely control board back there. I, How does I, that work, I, yeah. <laughs> Good. So, I, I, I get the, thumbs up. The quality, if you're watching from home when we're yeah, it's putting a lot stuff, better. is yeah. terrible. Right, so. and, and and that I mean, every, I mean, don't get me wrong. When we first put that up, it, it, it was, was it was good. Yep. But now, but now, I mean, most people if they want to make a presentation, they would be much easier just to to do. So so maybe we can work with FCAT, um, and and work on bringing that 
I mean, that, that actually should be part of their process is mm -hmm. to up, update that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, I would, and, and I would also think, you know, even if you have small tablets for that, instead of having all this paper that we carry around all the time. Um, bring my own tablet, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but still. But, right. but, the, informa yeah. but the information has to be, the information has to be able to be used Correct. by everyone. Correct. Right, because you want to you essentially like drop the stuff in the spot, like right. here's all the documents for tonight's meeting, so yep. that way we could sit here and pull them up on tablet, <laughs> PC, whatever. Well, when, when, we were talk, when we were talking the budget the other day, okay, um, it, was, it was hard for me to see people in the audience that didn't, or at home, you know, even the people see at it, right, right see the people in the right, audience, right. we had enough copies for, but the people at home had no idea what we were talking about. I, I actually and, have a question for our folks behind the board, actually, along the lines of what you're saying there. Are you able to do a shot of like a split shot so you can show like the room and something that's being presented? Actually, no, not not live. Okay. Um, you could edit it in, but um, okay, we don't have the capacity within. This. <coughs> So yeah. could we at least show the presentation and have audio from the room? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And, and, I, and, and I would think that, that, and again, people wouldn't be able to, f they wouldn't be able to scroll through it themselves, unfortunately, but they would be able, if we're talking about item 123, they could see what 123 was instead of, and, I, yeah. and, and, and again, I, I, if, if we're trying to make these things, um, I, I think we should make it more user friendly for sure. the people. Well, you know, so. we could put a spot on the website where you could say, "Here's stuff for the select board meeting tonight." Good idea. Like David. that, so that way, if you're at home, you know, we've got our stuff we access, however we access here. Yeah. And if you're an at-home user, you can go right into that yeah, little, makes perfect like, sense. you know, a page essentially. And, and, if, and, then, and then if we, you know, I guess, I guess what I'm saying mm -hmm. is that we have, if we have it available on our website. Oh, then we should have it available so we don't have right. to carry paper and I would think that one of our costs that we could do away with is yeah a whole bunch of paper plus how much time does it probably t yeah. take to prep for the meeting we're just trying to get the infrastructure updated and keep plugging away as we go yeah. every couple of years we get a chance right. to apply for more funds so right it's, it's been on our hit list for a while but yeah. we've been tackling a lot of other yeah. things but it'd be nice you know? I'll talk to um, FCAT and David and we'll see if we can could you talk to FCAT sure. tell, tell, yeah. tell Chris that we tell the director that we want to the board, get at least into the 20 of the board at least to the 2013s yeah. okay <laughs> because once all the budget stuff and the dust settles out that'll be the perfect time to get in and just tackle this so maybe like by the summer we can be up and running with a Makes new, yep. okay. new thing anything else Sherry? Yeah. no if um, the board's so inclined to award that um, contract to northeast it we can keep moving so moved second uh, motion made and seconded to uh, allow northeast it uh, to work with sherry all those in favor signify by saying aye 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 we got three zero on that now that's it we had a couple of appointments. Yep. And first up, appointment for historical commission. Uh, Wendy Hool is asking to be a participant in the historical commission and is reminiscing about her time spent there in the 90s. We have a motion for Wendy Hool appointment to the uh, historical commission. Was it lifetime appointment or was uh, it? It's the go-go 90s. <laughs> <laughs> no, motion. A motion made and seconded. All those in favor, appointment of Wendy Hool to a historical commission, please signify by saying aye. 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 We have another appointment at the Community Pathway Commi Committee of Rob Powell. So moved. Second. A motion made and second to the appointment of Rob Powell to the uh, Community Pathways Committee. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anything else? We have a vote, Mr. Chair, of notified by the Frontier administration and school committee about a warning to the town of their impending their boat passed to incur debt now according to the agreement they have to notify all four communities all four participants about the debt as well as the debt volume 
and what it's to be applied for. And this is specific to their capital plan, capital improvements program. They're asking, they voted 1.826664 uh, in debt over, uh, they don't spell the term out, but I know as a member of the capital improvement committee on that working group, that, that is the debt for the track, some HVAC upgrades, some structural and roof repairs uh, that pass the debt quack test, as we talked about earlier, and that this debt will not be multi-year bonds. This will be annual bans based on mm -hmm. their spending cycle. They still have to go through the design and procurement process. So instead of incurring a large piece of debt, Remember, they came to us three, almost three years ago now, mm. looking for nearly $4 million, and uh, instead instituted a program of a variety of funds, either through capital stabilization, warrant articles, or a debt authorization. This is the notification to the uh, towns that the school committee has voted for a borrowing authorization. If we take no action on this, recommend or not recommend the remaining communities can take no action and because it's a school committee the authorization will simply go i would suggest that the amount of effort that was put into this that the boards who are looking at this across the four communities actually take action actually vote on this mm -hmm. and uh, vote yay or vote nay there's big spreadsheets about what the borrowing is going to do and what they're not going to borrow for. So would he ask for a presentation from the school yep. committee? Yep. Yep. Okay. Sherry, could you arrange that, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Scott. You're welcome. Anything else, Sherry? No. I'm good. Anything to add? You get your, high, your, your pay scale goes up tonight, huh? Rock, paper, scissors. No. All right. Oh. Sure, we all set? All set. Okay, motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, Sherry, 3 0 vote.